got a big two point right below me. I got a good profile look at him. He, he stopped about 40 yards away, broadside, and turned his head around a little bit. And it was 100%. It was a two point on both sides. And <clears throat> to qualify for a four point, you can't count the eye guards. A lot of muleys don't have eye guards, but some do. But you can't count the eye guards. And the tines have to be at, at least about one inch long. And they can't be wider at the bottom than how tall they are. My name is Timothy Broch. I have a passion for the outdoors, family, and cooking. I embrace my primal instinct to hunt and gather. I understand how it defines me and appreciate the unparalleled food the outdoors provide. The water and woods call to me. Well, it's uh, Wednesday morning. I'm back in the woods chasing mule deer around some more. Uh, I had to leave a couple days ago and spend a couple days at home. And I don't like to use four letter words, bad words in my videos, but I had to go to work for a couple days. Got up at uh, four o'clock this morning, drove three hours, got here just after light. Uh, it's been raining, uh, so I got rain, everything's soaked, it's foggy, the wind's blowing. We'll have to deal with the weather again. Um, so going up higher above where my game cams are probably isn't going to make any sense because it's all open up there and you need to be able to see see a little ways. And not going to be able to this morning. So I'm just going to go check the game cams, uh, see if there's anything moving around in here. It rained all night, so I should be able to see fresh tracks. Uh, I'm just getting my rain gear on right now to head up in there but uh, my primary objective first thing this morning is just to get in here and check the game cam just look for fresh signs see if anything's been moving around and then decide if I want to spend any more time here if not there's roads I was looking at the maps there's roads that go kind of around this big ridge this bowl and one comes out on the other side of the peak and then another one goes into another bowl um, to the east of here so Nothing's moving around in here. Those will be the next places to check out. Um, see what happens. Let the suffering continue. Dang it. Oh, this fog is killing me today. The third game game is just right here in front of me. On the other side of this little draw. But it's cleared off up here a little bit. So I'm going to hike around to the other side of this ridge. <clears throat> and uh, take a look and see if there's any visibility in that bowl. I got about 30 yards from the place that I sit in glass up here. <clears throat> and the fog rolled right up here. I can't see shit now. So... I'm going to hang out here maybe 10-15 minutes and see if it breaks. And then head back down and grab the game cams and decide what to do from there. <clears throat> I did have an encounter with a, a second deer on the way up. I didn't see it. It was just up above in the brush. Snorting at me a little bit, but uh, good to know that there's a couple moving around anyways. Nice to see that buck this morning was motivating. That's a big dog. That's a big boy. These tracks are very, very fresh. I drove up this road about two hours ago. Go to a new spot to hike and I didn't, these weren't here. When I drove up here, looks like there's probably three or four. I'm almost back to the truck. I came around the corner and I thought there was two does here, but there was three. Two of them started working their way back up the hill. I'm just going to ease my way in here and see if there's a buck with them or not. But that makes four deer I've seen. One that was just 
just make a little bit of noise at me. This one doesn't seem to be overly concerned about what I'm doing. I'm only about 40 yards from her right now. She's pretty chill. It looks like I'm uh, hunting in the rain or fog or not going to hunt. So it's pouring down rain this morning. The fog's up a little bit higher. Today's a five of seven, so I feel like I'm running out of time. Um, this is very different hunting for me. Usually with the white tail or bear, I've got a spot narrowed down and know where to spend my time. Uh, these muleys are just kind of wandering around. They're not following any trails, staying in one place specific. So... It's kind of just spending some time out in the woods and hoping that I get lucky. Um, sitting in the truck I don't think is the answer. Being in the hotel room is not going to get one. So just packing and getting my rain gear on and getting ready to take off. So I came up, up to the top of this clear cut this morning where I've been seeing the deer, seeing the buck right below me yesterday with the idea of maybe sitting in the, uh, along a tree or close to the ground or something and just watch this clear cut for a while. Um, the weather's killing me. It's raining. It's windy. This fog rolled in. It can't see anything. Um, doesn't seem like the deer are moving around much. I did see somebody come out of here with a four point, little four point yesterday. They shot along the road somewhere um, on the tailgate of their truck. So there's some some bucks moving around, but man, I should have set this game on novice instead of advanced, because I don't know what else to do, but I guess just walk in the rain and hope I bump into something. I took a look at the, the game cams that I picked up yesterday. Uh, one of them just had pictures of me, and uh, a couple other guys went through uh, on Sunday, the day before, or no, uh, yeah, Sunday. right in front of the game cams. One of my game cams malfunctioned, so I didn't get anything. And the other one just had a picture of a collared, radio collared <coughs> muley doe, uh, <coughs> which I'd seen her up here uh, my last trip over. But uh, nothing that looks, I didn't really get anything. So uh, pulled the game cams and just going to start keep hiking and, and looking around and hope I bump into something. Karma is not on my side. I don't ever remember having so many days of crappy weather in a row and this fog is, is horrible now. I, I can't even hardly see maybe 30, 40 yards tops and it just keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Dang it. That's a another two point. And it's obvious that uh, that the does are starting to go into estrus. That buck is all over that doe. It's pretty cool seeing him but not a legal buck. So this is the area, I just seen that, that little two point right up here. He was walking down, down towards me. Uh, this is the best looking spot that I've seen so far. I like it better than the place that I was hunting the last couple of days. Uh, there's nobody else hunting in here. That's one of the reasons I like it more. <laughs> you can see this trail right over here. Uh, looks like maybe 
an old motorcycle trailer that comes out back over by the truck. About 100 meters up an old log road. So I'm going to have a little snack here. It's almost 1 o'clock. And then I'm going to follow the trail back down. That's the second buck I've seen today. So in spite of the fog and shitty weather, we still might have something happen here in the next couple days. There's a 2 by 3 standing right there looking at me. It's got kind of a narrow rack, but if that was a 4 pointy stand and broadside at 50 yards, I could smoke it pretty easy from here. But we're getting closer. Got three on one side. This is a really cool location. A um, couple things about the attributes on, on this particular spot is <clears throat> this motorcycle trail works out really really well it goes it goes clear over the mountain it zigzags up through some some prime mule deer hunting area there's tracks in the trail all the way up um lots of sign all the way through there i seen a buck right at the top and i seen that two by three on my way back out it clips the corner of this clear cut that i'm parked at the bottom of is where that that three point was but some of the cool things about it, first of all nobody's hunting up here there's only one way to access it and that's where i'm parked um, so there's nobody else hunting up there. <clears throat> doesn't look like anybody else has been in there. The trail makes it so I can get in there quietly. You know, seeing, seeing two bucks in less than an hour. That doesn't happen very often when you're, when you're wandering around. So anyways, it looks like a really good spot. I'm feeling much more re-energized and, and motivated to, to hustle and, and climb these mountains again. Um, and I still might be able to pull this off. Got two more days, so. Today is uh, day six of seven. Tomorrow's my last day. Uh, I'm back up here where I seen the bucks and the does yesterday. Uh, I started hiking from the truck up the up the motorcycle trail right at light this morning, and I bumped into probably the the same does that I seen down in the clear cut last night. There's about seven or eight of them, uh, including a couple fawns. I didn't see any bucks with them. Uh, bumped into them in two of the most awkward places. Like, just came around a corner and they're standing right there staring at me. Twice. So, I, I went on up the trail and, <clears throat> and they were following the trail up. So I stepped off the side of the trail and they had split up a little bit. But I had a, a big doe and a fawn walk right past me. But I'm still trying to figure out how to hunt this. I'm, I'm quite a ways up above the clear cut. I know for a fact, after seeing the deer come into the clear cut last night and seeing them up here this morning, uh, that they're traveling through this area. So I came back in here, followed where the does came from, hoping I'd catch a buck trailing them. But I found this vantage point and I could see a lot. And right down in there, there's a couple trails that go right through here. so. Potentially, I may try to get up here like a while before dark and just sit here and watch and then work my way out right right in dark. It's not that hard to find the trail from here. Or I may, I may try to get up here before daylight and just see what comes through here right at daylight because they're leaving the clear cut before light. I caught them halfway up the mountain uh, just maybe 15 minutes after light. <laughs> so I would have to be up here before light and get settled to, to if they can't happen to come through here again. But this is potentially one strategy. So I'm going to work my way down 
This is actually a finger that follows the top of the clear cut right down through here. I'm gonna follow down and see if I can find any vantage points that uh, I can see the clear cut. And maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe watch the upper part of that clear cut that, that can't be really seen from anywhere except for up above. I don't know. These deer behave so much differently than than any place I've spent time hunting and I'm completely unfamiliar with what they do here so I wish I would have found this spot uh, on my first trip I've been tracking this thing for about a half hour and there he is there he is, my first mature muley buck. Look at that, what a beautiful freaking deer. Oh my God, oh my God. That is a beautiful, beautiful mature buck. I'm gonna get him drug out of here. I'm actually gonna keep the cape on this one, but oh my God. I came down to the top of that clear cut. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what I was going to do today. <sighs> Looked over to my right and seen a deer. It was a little forky. And he kept looking back up the hill. And, oh my God. I stepped over just a little bit and I could see his rack from 100 yards away. He was moving around heading for the trees. And I got, I happened to have a rest right there. So I got a nice steady shot. Got down there and there was blood all over. He's probably 100 meters from where I, where I shot him. This won't be a bad pack. I'm probably a mile from the truck. But I am going to quarter him up. I've got all day. It's like 11 o'clock. So I'm just going to... I'm actually going to cape this out. Um, I'm going to mount this deer. But uh, I'm going to get him drug out over here. And get him field dressed. And then find a good spot and start quartering this baby up. Okay. I got him drug out of that hole, got him field dressed, got my tag notched. Uh, this thing's got a big body on it. <clears throat> and he smells like a rotten buck. His neck is swollen up huge. Making some progress. I got the one side caped out in the front, the front shoulder off. So just getting ready to skin and take the hind quarter off on this side and then we'll Start getting some of the smaller pieces in the back straps out, but man, I always forget how much work this is. Okay, uh, just about half done. Some stuff in game bags. Uh, now I'll just flip this baby over and pretty much do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just here finishing up this deer and there's two does, three does, and a little fork torn buck. Thirty yards from me. Uh, make that twenty. These mule deer are crazy here. It's the rut. <laughs> Never. Okay, that's all that's left. I got uh, everything bagged up. <clears throat> uh, took me three hours. Man, uh, don't kid yourself. That's a lot of work, especially with an animal that's a little bit bigger. So... <clears throat> Uh, the gut pile is right over there. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I'm going to right up as where that big stump is in the middle of the, the little low spot there. I'm going to carry everything up there and get the meat away from what the birds are probably going to come in. The crows have been circling uh, since I shot. And see if I can load the 
front shoulders up on my pack and head back to the truck and then I'll drop my day pack and bring my pack board back up here. Um, it'll take me, oh man, at least three trips, if not four, but got ready to pack out. Pretty cool, beautiful buck. And it's snowing a little bit, everything's wet, but it could be way worse. It could be super cold or raining or whatever. Uh, I gotta get to work. Time to get to work. Okay, I got my pack apart and loaded up the two front shoulders. So I'll snap my day pack back on there and pick my way back to the truck. It's about a mile and a half from here. Um, I gotta pick my way down through this clear cut. It's not too bad. I walked up here yesterday. <clears throat> I go slow and pay attention. There's a trail that goes down. There's a, a road at the bottom that goes straight out to the truck. So, but I definitely got three trips. Uh, so, uh, if I overestimate a little bit and it is only a mile, that's still three trips times two is six. Six more miles of hiking today. But, never got one before. I'm picking my way <clears throat> back up through this clear cut, heading back for my second trip. It seems steeper than it did yesterday. Oh, I just got the the last of the deer loaded on my pack. Uh, this is the last trip. I got both the hind quarters and the ribs on here. This would be a pretty heavy trip. It might be the heaviest one so far. But uh, just wanted to take a minute and rest my legs a bit before I head out of here and just kind of think back about this last the last couple of weeks. You know, this is my sixth out of seven days that I had here. Mark to spend up here. I've hiked probably 40 miles in the last week and a half. Uh, you know, probably climbed six, 7,000 feet in um, vertical elevation altogether. You know, all kinds of weather, snow, rain, fog. The fog was horrible. Wind. And then, you know, spending some time and finding a place that I thought was going to be okay, uh, you know, and then getting pictures of other people in there on my game cams. The first two places I picked, um, nothing. They were completely different. There was nothing there. So, you know, for me to be able to come to a place that I've, I've never hunted before and, and, you know, be able to make a good shot and fill a tag that I've never been able to fill, um, you know, with the four point minimum here and that muley was the biggest buck of my life. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm not showing the enthusiasm now that I was when I, when I found that thing, but, um, you know, I'm super excited to be able to have this experience and, and come out here and, and enjoy the time in the woods. And in spite of almost going home yesterday, because <clears throat> of all the frustration and, and not really feeling like I was having any success, I was pretty close. Uh, you know, I sat in the truck for probably an hour contemplating, you know, should I go find another spot? Should I just bag it and go home? Um, you know, and I'm, I'm super happy that I didn't, I didn't take off and go home. So I'm uh, just gonna see if I can get this pack on my shoulders and uh, work my way out of here. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I, I toughed it out and, you know, made this happen. Um, you know, this is a trip I'll remember for the rest of my life. <laughs>